welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a ballerina themed centerpiece and setup here we go consist of four five by seven picture frames if you would like for your vase to be smaller go ahead and go for four by six picture frames but for my table size this five by seven picture frames will be perfect okay so the first thing I'm going to do is just turn it over and I'm going to get rid of the stand right here so it won't be on the way when I'm trying to glue this so I'm just going to get rid of that now I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to glue all four of these frames together in a square. Now I'm going to cut a piece of this foam board to add to the bottom of the box so it can be a little more sturdy. So I'm just going to place it on here and draw the square inside. If I can find a pencil. All right, so now I'm just going to place it inside. And that's it. Pretty sturdy now. Now that my vase is done, I'm going to take it outside and add a couple of coats of white paint, uh, which means that I'm going to cover up the entire four frames with paint, including the glass part. I know the alternative for you will be to just paint the frames only and leave the glass part for a picture or for any writing. But for me, it doesn't make any sense for me to do that because I'm going to be covering up the box with ribbon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing. I'm going to be using Crayon's white semi-gloss spray paint. I would have preferred to have used gloss all the way, but I cannot find it right now. So I'm going to use this one. I'm also going to use this white glitter to sprinkle around the box, concentrating at the bottom of the box. The next step is to glue the floral foam in the box. So now it's time to start with the arrangement and I'm going to start with my white hydrangeas and um, these are six individual uh, little hydrangea flowers and six of them will make a bunch, a nice size bunch and I want them about five to six inches long. I pretty much just cut this off right now, this part of the stem, but I'm going to cut them off a little more. And I want them on pretty long because um, the box right here is pretty wide and I need them to hang out of the box. I added a bunch to each corner like I usually do in all of my arrangements. And now I'm going to add a couple of more bunches right here and right here. I'm going to do the same in these two open spaces right here. Now I'm going to add green hydrangeas to the arrangement. I'm going to place it right here in the middle so I can cover up the foam. And I'm going to cut it about three inches long. I'm going to add the last of my white hydrangeas that I have, which is these two bouquets. I'm gonna add it right here to the middle. Now it's time to add the pink roses and I'm pretty much gonna place them on top of the green hydrangeas. 
and here's how it looks so far. Now I'm going to add some tool to the arrangement. I'm simply just going to cut it into squares and I'm going to place it wherever it feels appropriate. I decided to double up on the tool and it looks much, much better because it looks darker. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my ballerina right on top. And for that, I'm going to use this uh, bamboo stick and I'm going to place it back here. This is already self-adhesive and I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue right here where the skirt is just to secure it. And the skirt will cover it up. There you go. I'm going to add some glitter on top of here. So um, when I look in the back, it doesn't look so plain. All right, so here it is. It's not the same tone of gold, but that's okay. I'm going to add a gold gem to the ballerina skirt right here. Um, the actual packet came with um, clear gems and you can use that if you will like, or you don't have to use it at all. Before I add my ballerina to the top of the arrangement, I'm going to add some pink ribbon to the box and I'm going to wrap it around as if it was a ballerina shoe. Almost, not quite. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, the idea. Now I'm going to place the ballerina right on top. And the ballerina could have been a little bigger, actually a lot bigger, but I use what I have and what's accessible to me. And my post is right next to Dollar Tree, so <laughs> this is why it's this size. So, yeah. Let's place her right on top. And there you have it, folks. have been asking how I make my words or my letters or my characters just like this one behind my table setting and today I'm going to teach you how to make that. For my letters it's actually a pretty easy process. I use Microsoft Word and I use a script font and I place it in the middle of the page and I blow it up to 124 in size and then I just print it out and it comes out in you know 8 by 11 sheet of paper and the size of your circle is going to depend on the size of your plate. So luckily I had this um, cake stand that is exactly the same size as the middle of my plate. So originally I used this as my template, but now I use, you know, uh, the same circle that I've been using since the first time I made my first circle. So that's that for the letters. And now I'm going to show you how to make this one right here. To make this table setting, I went on Google and I printed out this pretty picture of a slipper. And now I'm going to um, place my template right on top of it. Sometimes you have to like lift it up to the light to make sure that it's center. Next step is to make the plates tutu and it's very easy to make. So you're going to grab your tool and you're going to measure around the top of your charger. Then you're going to grab your transparent cord, which is pretty stiff, which makes it easy to sew through the holes of the tool. And you're just going to do just that. Just sew through the holes of the tool until it all comes together. OK, 
okay so i've positioned my tutu perfectly right here in the middle i have to play it around it a little bit i have to spread a little bit here in the middle just to make sure that my whole charger was covered with tool uh, now my next step is going to be to add double-sided tape to the bottom of the charger so i can stick the uh, tool to it okay now we're going to make sure that this is center and we're going to place the clear plate right on top of it and that's that okay guys this is it this is my ballerina theme centerpiece and i think it's adorable i think this will be great for any grade school girls birthday party or for any dance school celebration Actually, I think this will also be great for any Sweet 16 or for a quinceanera also. Yeah, I think so. I ended up adding a little gem right here to the side where the knot is. Um, I don't think you can see it that far, but I'll show you in a little bit. And like I said earlier, I would have wished that I could, you know, have made this bigger. I don't know how to make things like this, but uh, I wish I could have found one that I could have bought that was bigger. But this is what I found and you get the picture, right? So just find a bigger one. But for $2.99, not bad at all, right? And it came with other different things in the packet. So I think it was a steal. And now you know how to make my plate settings or... I should say the words or the characters behind my plates every time you see it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, make sure to go to the Tyra Perez Projects to purchase items you see in my videos. All right, see you next time. Bye.